to do this interview. I know you're a busy man. Nee, but pal, I was just cutting about the streets anyway, so let's get this over with. So, what is it that inspired you to become a hip-hop artist? Well, when I was about four years old, my parents put me in eight underground rap battles to try and get him some money after they noticed my talent, and that alongside growing up in the, the rough and tough streets of Motherwell, I thought maybe I could make it in the hard rapping world, and after I released my first single, Down in the Well, I, it all just spiralled from there, really. So you've obviously come from really humble beginnings, and you've had rapid success with your hit single, McVeigh's Masterclass. So what would you say has been the secret behind your quick success? I think it's really my, my upbringing, you know, people in the streets have respect for me, they can relate to that, you know. Well your success certainly suggests so, but it must be difficult juggling all your obligations. How do you juggle being a digital media college student by day and a rapping sensation by night? Well, I've studied a lot of, you know, the Batman and, and much like he studied the way of the bat, I've studied the way of the rap. Oh, that's good, I'm gonna keep uh, This is our studio. Mine now, bitch. Well, you must look quite happy of yourself to compare yourself to a superhero. Oh, no, no, I'm not comparing myself to a superhero. I am a superhero. Well, you haven't really answered the question. How do you juggle being a digital media college student by day and a rap association by night? Um, well, I feel as if, much like the bat, I do my best work at night, you know, I, I do work on the rooftops, I do them in the bushes, and... Whoa, whoa, Lil McVeigh, not after the last time, we're not, that's not what this interview's all about, it's just a bit inappropriate after the last time, you know? Do you mind if we just move on to the next question? Yes, that's over with. So, what do you make of the comments referring to you as the Tupac of this generation? Well, first of all, I feel as if, you know, I hope I don't get shot like Tupac, you know, I feel like my death would be a tragedy, but to be honest, I think Tupac's a lot of shit. I, I think, you know, I, I, he, Tupac never had to go through what I had to go through, you know. I For countless years, I've carried the Motherwell scene in my back. In fact, not even the Motherwell scene, the British and even the world scene. So, I, I just, I don't, I don't agree. You really think you're better than Tupac, Notorious B.I.G., Jay-Z, Kanye West? Who? Wow. Well, at least you've got a lot of self-confidence. At least you've got that going for you. So, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years then? Well, everywhere, you know. Across the world, posters, billboards, hell, even statues. You know, fuck the Statue of Liberty. Get that knocked down. Get a big massive statue of me, outstretched like this. Or hell, maybe even the White House, you know. Nobody likes Trump. Get me in there. Everyone loves me. These are rich parts of American history, Lil McVeigh. Well, I, I can assure you, I have more money. Uh, okay. Um, before we finish the interview, Lil McVeigh, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? Well, I'd like to give a big up to one of my biggest fans, Ennis McVeigh. And who is that? Well, me, obviously. Come on, of course I'm the biggest fan. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. Whoa, 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 just before we stop, I'd just like to say something to my critics. You bunch of arseholes! You know who you are! There's one arsehole in particular, you wee fucking. Sorry folks about that outburst from Little McVeigh. That sort of language will not be tolerated here and he knows that perfectly well. He has now been forced out of the studio and have been told to think about his actions. But for now, we'll unveil the premiere of his latest single, Fire in the Booth. About my business, yeah. I've been working hard, always keeping to myself. Uh, why you acting like a witness, man? Trying to get a piece once I'm getting out as well. Now, nah, you don't need to get involved, no, no. You don't need to get involved, get involved, no, no. Now, nah, you trying to get involved, no, no. You don't need to get involved, get involved, no. Why you trying to get involved, no, no. You were never about the squad, about the squad, no, no. You don't need to get involved, no. Friends, you must be crazy. I've been working till the day's end. Like, why you hating? I've been doing this for years straight. All seven days, keep the practice till they fear Jay. That's on the way. Flow is mean, but I may seem nice. Illuminated by the glow of all these street lights. I've been dreaming miles up while taking these flights. Leaving ones who have my back just never seem right. It's my
my fucking theme like I doubt my eyes so no one will ever cross me I'm getting checks like I'm in a game of hockey She hold me down, at least one person has got me I try to keep it humble, only face me acting cocky, yeah And everything is going my way Girl got the ass and she going my place Reppin' 603 and you know it's my state Got some cash coming in, need to double my pay, ole Why you all about my business, yeah I've been working hard, always keeping to myself Why you acting like a witness, man Trying to get a piece, once I'm getting all this world, now. You